Hi everybody, welcome to my channel Frugal Itimate. My name's Sam and this is where I talk about all things sewing. Today I've got a quick video talking about some of my favourite free t-shirt patterns. So if that's the sort of thing you like, keep watching. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. And I usually talk about sewing and try and keep sewing accessible to people, whether that's in terms of free sewing patterns or looking at cheaper ways of sewing or in terms of making sewing easier for people. Currently, Jo, who is so Joey over on YouTube and Instagram, has got a little challenge going and that is called T-shirt for summer 2021. So I thought I'd just do a little video to run alongside that, looking at some of my favourite T-shirt patterns that I've sewn over the years giving you some hints and tips along the way. So if that's the sort of thing you'd like, please consider liking those videos and um, leaving me a comment below. If you've not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. Hit the notification bell when I bring out new videos. Usually bring out videos a couple of times a week. Usually I've got a Frugal Fridays video on a Friday and then on a Sunday I usually do plans and reviews. And I've been putting together a series of videos called 100 Days of Sewing and that is looking at accessibility of sewing, so looking at either free or cheap resources for sewing, or also giving you hints and tips and some little sew alongs. So I've got about seven free t-shirt patterns to talk to you about today, and I'll just run over some of the rules that Jo has got for her little competition, and tell you about some of the prizes, and then we'll get onto the free t-shirt pattern. So anyone can enter this competition. Uh, it's international, so some of the prizes are PDF pattern downloads. The definition of a t-shirt is that it's made with a jersey fabric, and uh, it can be short-sleeved, long-sleeved, or no-sleeved. It can be for anybody, for a man or a woman, you don't have to make it for yourself, or it can be for a child as well, or a friend. And it can also be a t-shirt dress as well, so I've got a t-shirt dress here to show you. Although it does need to be made with a knit fabric, she did say that uh, it could be combined with a woven, so you could have knit at the front and, and woven at the back, or vice versa. So that's the t-shirt that I'm going to talk about first, and that's the Elise t-shirt by Fine Motor Skills. So this is probably the least well-known t-shirt pattern that I've got and I found this years and years ago. But you can still download this pattern via the designer's blog post or website. So that's fine motor skills and essentially it's a very slouchy uh, t-shirt with a grown-on sleeve. So I thought I'd start with this one because you haven't got sleeves to insert so it's probably the, one of the most simple uh, t-shirts. So I'm just going to stand up and show you. So quite loose across the bust and then a little bit more fitted at the hip here and then the grown on sleeves, deep scooped neck and it's quite a wide neck as well so it's just covering my bra straps, very very narrow band around the neck there and then you've got some bands around the sleeves here as well. So it is quite a narrow size range is this, I'm just going to read it out. You've got size small, medium and large and the small is for a 33 inch bust and the large goes up to a 38 inch bust. There's quite a lot of ease in the bust, so the same 15 inches here in the bust, I've not got 15 inches at all but I've probably, um, it's a long time since I made this, so I've, I've probably brought it in a little bit but you've got negative ease at the hip. So the designer is actually suggesting on this one that you can use like a nice fine chiffon or silk either at the front or the back, but then uh, you would need to use a knit around the neckline and around the, the sleeves just so that you can get it on and off. I disagree with that. You've got enough ease in here to get this on and off and you've definitely got enough ease around here. Uh, it's just that obviously you would have to find some way of finishing the neckline and the sleeves. So for the sleeves you could probably just tuck it under, turn it under and you probably wouldn't have to do the binding at all. So a very very simple straightforward pattern to make and I've made it twice. Uh, this was my first ever version and this was probably one of the first ever t-shirts I ever made. It's gotten a little bit faded now and it's pre-overlocker this this. So I actually French seamed it for some what for some reason. Um, so yeah, I've got all French seams on the inside here. You don't need to French seam knit fabric, it doesn't fray, so it's not necessary. And if I turn it inside out, you can see that I've actually brought it in at the 
um, bust because when I made this original one, fabric wasn't didn't have enough drape in it, so it was it just looked too boxy for me. So I actually brought it in. So I will have made the medium on this one. Uh, like I said, it's a long time since I made it, but it is one of my favourite t-shirts. She is recommending a really fine drapey fabric, like a modal or a tencel or a, a viscose jersey. So something with lots of drape in it. And you can see from the pictures that she's got online that it has got that drape on it. That is what it's designed to do. So the Elise T is only 22 pages to download. It's only available to print at home is this one. And the instructions are okay. The instructions are just uh, just five, five or six bullet points. There's enough information there for you to get by, I think. I really like it. It's nice and comfortable and nice and simple to make. And I just like the idea that the designer has included this option to put this woven option in it as well. So I thought it was just something a little bit different. So that's my first one. My second recommendation is the one that Mandy's wearing here, and that's the Laundry Day Tea. So tons and tons of options with this one. Uh, you really do get uh, bang for your buck. You go straight to her website, it says it's five dollars, uh, but there is a link on her website, it takes you to the Facebook group, and then you can just sign up for, I think you sign up for a newsletter, if I recall, and you will be sent a link and you will get this t-shirt for free. So lots and lots of options with the Laundry Day t-shirt. It has three necklines, so that's V-neck, cowl neck, and the uh, scoop neck that you see here. It's got five sleeve options, so you can go sleeveless. Normal t-shirt length here that I've got here, three quarters of length, long and elbow length. And then you've got a tunic option and then a normal t-shirt option, which will finish at the hip and the dress length. So this is the dress length and it's a nice and swingy dress. So fitted across the bust and then just comes out almost A-line. And then you can do a high low hem on both the tunic and the dress as well tons and tons of options and you've got cup sizes on this as well quite a large range of sizes so it goes from an extra small to a five extra large which is 33 inch bust up to a 55 inch bust and that means that you've got a lot of pages to print you've got a zero and print at home options I went for the A0 and got them all printed off and it was five pages. So there is a cost involved in that you will have to pay for all, all those pages printing. But then there is a cost involved in any patterns that um, even if you pay for them, if they're only available as an A0, which quite a lot of pattern companies do now, they don't do the printed ones then that cost is involved. So what I would suggest with this one is if you only want to do the t-shirt, the short sleeve t-shirt, only get that one printed and you'll probably be able to do that at home and just do, you've got the layering option and just get that printed at home. So a fantastic pattern, fantastic instructions, but yeah, you've got a lot to print off if you go for all those options. Another advantage of the Love Notions one is that on her website, you can see this dress demonstrated on all sorts of different body types and sizes and shapes and what have you, ages as well, which is one of the reasons why I picked that because you've got you could see older models modelling it. And it's got the V-neck option, so tons and tons of options with this one. So yeah, it's a good one, is the Love Notions. I would highly recommend it. And if you were ever wondering why it's called the Laundry Day Tea, it's because the idea of it is that you can whip it up in the time it takes you to do a load of laundry, just in case you were wondering. Right, so I'm just going to get changed into my next T-shirt and I'll come back. Next up is the Badien Tea, which I'm wearing here. And this is by Christelle Cowd. I'll just pull my hair back so you can see it. You can see this is a little bit different. It's got a sweetheart neckline. This pattern I discovered from a friend uh, on Instagram. And I was doing some research for my Frugal Friday videos and I actually featured this one and then decided that I would do a little bit of a sew along for doing this sweetheart neckline. So unusually this has a facing around it rather than your normal band. Otherwise it's just a normal t-shirt. So you've just got your setting sleeves uh, you've just got one length, but you've got two sleeve lengths. So fairly fitted across the bust. I'll stand up so you can see. Um, fitted across the bust, but then a bit looser around the waist and hip. This is designed for a stable knit, such as a cotton, and you do need to take note of that because you've got these angles going around the sweetheart neckline you don't really want something that's going to be too loose and shifty like a viscose or something like that 
you do want something reasonably stable so a cotton jersey is ideal for this. Uh, so this is a cotton jersey that I've used and it only takes I think I got this out of 70 centimetres of fabric. It was the barest minimal amount of fabric that I had left. Hence the reason why I went for pink on the inside. Just gives it that little bit of flash of con uh, contrast. So when I turn to one side, you can see it, but you can't see it from the outside normally. Uh, so I have got a video helping you to do this neckline and with some hints and tips of how to download the pattern as well because the pattern has been written in French. It's not difficult to navigate the website because I worked it out but just to help you along if, you, if you're struggling. So I will leave a link to that down below so that you can link to it if you fancy making this one. So the size range is in European sizes so it goes from a 32 to a 52 and that is a 30 inch bust to a 48 inch bust. And there are only 16 pages to download. It is only available, as far as I know, as a A4 or letter size. Uh, I don't think there's an A0. And it's just a question of filling in your details and you will be sent an email with a PDF attachment for it. So yeah, I would just consider how you like things to fit before you decide on a size. I went on uh, my bust size, which it does recommend and it's fitted through the bus. So if you like a little bit more room, I did say on my video that I could do with about an extra half an inch. I've lost a little bit of weight since and it's absolutely fine actually. If you prefer something a little bit looser, then go up a size. So I've got a video sort of reviewing it and showing you how to download the pattern. Uh, so I'll leave that below and it's got timestamps on as well. So if you're not bothered about certain bits of it, you can skip it. So next up is the one that Mandy's wearing and this is the Greco tee. This is by Ensemble Patterns. This is a much looser fitting t-shirt. So you've got three sleeve options and then you've got different hem options on this one. So the option that I went for is just a cuff sleeve. You can either put a little sleeve on it or a longer sleeve on it. You've got a band around the neckline and then hem options are regular, high-low or curved. So I've gone for curved hemline here so you've got a slightly curved hemline there more or less a, a grown on kimono sleeve with a bit of cuffing at the end there what i liked about this one is that it's got a binding right across the neckline and the shoulders it gives you a bit of a, more of a ready to wear feel and they're just saying you need 1.25 to one and a half meters so it's slightly boxier you need more fabric than you do for this BDM one. The sort of fabric they're suggesting, something with a bit of drip, like a bamboo or a rayon. Uh, if you use a different fabric, this is just a cotton, very uh, lightweight cotton jersey, uh, single jersey. It's like any of them, the sturdier the fabric you get, the boxier shape you get. I prefer the drapier ones for this one. But they do say if your fabric has got less than 25% stretch, you should consider using ribbon, uh, ribbing. <laughs> should you consider using ribbing around the neckline and around the arms? I would say that that's not necessary. That neckline's quite wide. and uh, You get it over your head, no problem, as are the armholes, they're quite wide. Uh, so I, I don't think the 25% stretch is really necessary. We've got quite a lot of ease throughout. It is quite square, so the bust measurement and the hip measurements are more or less the same. So far sizing, it goes from a 32 inch bust to a 46 inch bust. They grade the height according to your bust size. So the larger the bust size, the taller it makes it. So I'm just gonna whip it off mand it, leave her naked for a minute and show you that binding on the inside. So you can see that you've got a binding right across the shoulder seam there. Uh, across the neck and across right across that shoulder seam there now you don't have to do that but I just thought it gave it an extra uh, ready to wear look I quite like it and it just makes it look a bit more finished on the inside the only thing is that you're top stitching it on the outside so you want to make sure you're using a matching thread so that's the Greco tee and I'll just get changed again so next up we've got the Galaxy tee which I'm wearing now and that is a free pattern from pattern scissors cloth, another one that I found during my Frugal Friday videos. This is another one where you can download it straight away, you just sign up and download it straight away. It's available as A4 and A0 but it is only 16 pages so I, I, to me it's just a glass of wine, something on YouTube and uh, it's together in no time. I wouldn't pay for A0 <laughs> for a 16 page one but that's up to you. So as you can see you've got a, a bit of an unusual puff sleeve on this one. Um, so you've got a puff at the top and then it's gathered into this cuff here. Quite square through the body. Let's stand up and show you. So it's quite square through the body. The bust size is more or less the same as the hip size. 
and uh, otherwise it's just a classic tee. So you've got uh, your neckband here, finished off with the cuffs so you don't have to do any bands at the cuffs. I have seen Beckett from Notes at the Sewing Room actually lower this if you prefer a lower one. I might do that next time I make one of these but I'm quite happy with the one that I've got. might notice it's the same fabric as the BDM one and that's because it is. <laughs> Uh, the BDM was used with leftover scraps from this one. So they are saying that you need 1.1 metre of uh, fabric for this. Something that will hold the puff in the sleeve. Uh, so this is a cotton jersey. And they are saying 25 to 30% stretch. This one you do need the stretch because you need it to get over your head unless you lower that neckline. And you do need it sort of to get over your arms as well. Love this one. It's just a t-shirt with a bit of a difference, I think. I think it just makes it really elevated and really special, does this. have got another video reviewing this and giving you any hints and tips for making it as well, which I'll leave a link to it below. If you've watched my channel for a while, you will have seen this one, so I'm not going to go at length, on at length with it. The size range is from 34-inch bust to 48-inch bust. The instructions on this is really good because she's got lots of hints and tips within the instructions. So if you take the time to read through the instructions, you'll pick up lots of information there. Uh, it is written in metric so the seam allowance is uh, one centimetre which is three eighths of an inch. Weird thing about this is that the finished garment measurements are in half widths so it tells you what the finished garment measurement is of this when it's laid flat. I thought that were a little bit odd but apart from that everything is really really quite straightforward. The neckband is it doesn't line up at the back, it's designed to line up at just off the side. So if you try to do it at the back, the notches won't match. But it is quite a, a normal, even neckline, so quite easy to go in. So size-wise, yeah, I mean, I, I just went up a size because I've fitted between two sizes, so I went for the larger one. Could quite easily go down a size on this one, I think, but I like it, it's comfortable. Uh, so yeah, another one of my favourites, this one. So if you're looking for a t-shirt, a free t-shirt pattern that is just a normal bog standard t-shirt, no bells, no whistles, then this is the Stellan T by French Navy. Classic t-shirt, no variations on this one. Size range is 32 to 42 inch bust and finished size range then is 38 to 48. So you've got about six inches of ease. So if you're not too keen on a big baggy t-shirt, go down a size. I find it nice and loose fitting, but I could have easily gone down a size and it still would have been absolutely fine. Just a normal length t-shirt sleeves and there's nothing special about this one. But the beauty of that is that it's great for beginners. We've just got um, a bog standard t-shirt and you've not got a lot of printing to do. <laughs> Unlike the laundry day t-shirt, you've got more options on the laundry day and therefore more printing. So the only point of difference on this one is that similar to the Greco tee, they've got just got this binding that goes just on, on the back. It doesn't go on the shoulder seams like the Greco tee. And again, I think it just gives it a nice little extra finish. I've used a nice lightweight, I think it's a viscose jersey, pulled it out of the remnant bin so I can't be 100% sure. It's just nice and uh, drapey. You need 90 centimetres of fabric for this one, so next to no fabric if you're doing the smaller sizes, I would imagine. Got layers option on this one as well, so you can just print out your own size, so really straightforward. Not a lot of printing, not a lot of messing about. So I'm just going to get changed now and put on the last one. The last up is the Deer and Doe Plantain Tea, which I'm wearing here. And um, let me just stand up and show you. You can see my bra through this, sorry. Um, so I've made the long sleeve version of this one, but there is a short sleeve version as well. I think you can do a three quarter length sleeve. And then quite a deep scoop neck. There is an option to put um, pads on the elbow there. And I think potentially I put these cuffs on myself because I think it might have been working out too short. Can't quite remember, it's a while since I made this. This is another one that's available A0 or print at home, A4 letter size. It's available in sizes 34 to 52, which is a 31 and a half inch bust up to a 45 and a half inch bust. Uh, I made the size 42 in this one, which is for a 37 and three quarter inch bust. It's quite flared out at the, at the hip. Um, but yeah, I like it. I really like the, the deep scoop neck, scooped neck on it. Not quite as deep as the Elise T. And then you've got uh, proper setting sleeves on this one. 
you've got your band at your neckline and they're just suggesting a, a nice lightweight jersey for this, so a cotton or a rayon. They are suggesting it needs about 40 to 50% stretch and they are suggesting that the short sleeve version only needs about uh, a metre. So yeah, um, it's a good one is this one. You just go to the Deer and Doe website and you can download it straight from their website. Just a bit small in the size range. It's well written instructions, so um, yeah, it's a good one. And then finally, it wouldn't be one of my videos without mentioning the Mandy Boat tee, which is what Mandy the mannequin wear in here. I always recommend this one for anybody who is new to sewing with knits. If you feel like you're a bit scared of sewing with knits, it is a good one is this, it's nothing to be scared of, uh, you've got no neck bands to put in here, the sleeves are put on the flat so nothing too, too difficult with this one but I do have a sew along video about that one. So along with the videos that I've got to show you how to do the Mandy Bow and the Galaxy and the Biodienne, I've got a video that shows you how to sew with knit fabrics and how to sew a perfect v-neck if you're doing a v-necked one and a knit binding as well so some patterns rather than having the net band you've got a binding on it so I've got a video for that. I don't want people to feel intimidated by sewing with knits anybody can sew with knits you don't need an overlocker you can just do it on a normal sewing machine just make sure that you've got the right kind of needle in and you should be okay. For anybody who says they're too basic, they're not worth my time and effort, takes too long to make or they're more expensive to make than they are to buy, just think about what that expense equates to I suppose. I know there's a, an environmental cost and a human cost to making fabric as there is for buying something for 2 99 in Primark, but to me t-shirts are something that you wear on a daily basis and I think they're worth, well worth the effort. Um, what I would just say is have a look through your wardrobe, have a look at those t-shirts that you wear the most and then try and find one that replicates it, whether it's a free pattern or a paid for pattern, there's lots of patterns out there. But I thought I'd just bring this video out with uh, lots of different types of free t-shirt patterns to show you what's out there. Tons and tons of other t free t-shirt patterns out there, can't possibly touch on them all but I thought I'd just talk about the ones that I've made and give you a few ideas for Joe's little challenge. So I hope you've enjoyed that, uh, let me know below if you're planning on making a t-shirt for Joe's challenge, if you're going to make any of the ones that I've talked about today let me know and if you know of any free t-shirt patterns let me know in the comments below as well. So that's it from me today, thanks for watching, I shall speak to you later, bye!